Okay, Living Environment fans, it's Wednesday and we've been studying how to count populations. We study the field of ecology and today we're we'll talking a little bit more about counting and we'll do some practice and then, yeah, um, let's get on with today's bell ringer. It's Mr. Kovacs class. You might learn on time. It's Mr. Kovacs class. He's interested too. It's Mr. Kovacs class. And he's super cool. It's Mr. Kovacs class. Ah, the count loves to count. I love to count. Yes, we learned all about counting yesterday, right? We, right? How many are there? We learned about doing what we call sampling, which is often done with these little like. Uh, grid grid things we call right quadrants and um, sometimes they do surveys or or transects and those kinds of things but what I wanted to t to talk about today a little bit more was mark recapture which is where you you let some organisms you capture some organisms you let them go and then you try to catch them again and the ratio between the marked to unmarked individuals the second time you catch them is the same ratio as the size of the population. Okay, so we'll do some practice questions like that during class today. Okay, but I wanted to try something with you today. Let's see. Um, oh, that's a cute owl. Oh, there it is. Okay, ready? How many ladybugs on this log? All right, time's up. Why don't you put down how many you saw? Okay, now, why don't you count one box on the log, one of the boxes on the log, count them, right? And write down how many ladybugs are in one box. Okay, now that you've counted one box, count up the total number of boxes. How many boxes are there on the log? Good, now multiply the number in one box times the number of boxes and you have a estimate of the size of the population of ladybugs on the log, what is that estimate number? Good, see that's not so hard, all right? It's just a little bit of math. It's really just multiplication and ratios and things like that. And so, yeah, sampling. And then two words I want you to learn today or have by the end of the day um, is the word habitat. You probably know that. That's the place where an organism lives, right? It's, it's where it finds food, water, and shelter. That's really, that's how we, um, Describe habitat. Sometimes habitat might even be on another animal, like a flea, for example, right? But uh, yeah, habitat is the place where you find the three things that you need, food, water, and shelter, right? That's your habitat. The other word you'll need to know is the word niche, or you can call it niche, right? That's a little bit different. Niche is not the habitat, it's the role that the organism plays in its habitat. What does it do in the habitat? Who does it interact with, right? Um, some organisms, right, are herbivores. They eat only plants. Some organisms are carnivores. They eat only animals. Some organisms are prey to others. Some are predators. Some are parasites. Right? There's lots of different roles. Some are scavengers. Some browse for food. Some actively hunt for food. Um, some just sit and make their own food during photosynthesis. It's the niche, right? Some organisms um, interact with lots of other organisms to build things. Sometimes they destroy things. You know, that's what organisms do in their niche. So the niche is the role that organism plays in its environment. The niche is, is that um, or two different species could occupy the same habitat, but they rarely occupy the same niche. Right? Because that would just be competition. So it's an advantage for you to have a unique niche, a unique strategy um, to reduce competition for resources in your habitat. All right, so to reiterate, two species can share the same habitat, but they rarely share the same niche. Right? If they share the same niche, then they're in direct competition with each other. Counting, and a little couple new words, habitat and niche, that's in your vernacular and your vocabulary. And we'll get on with the day here. This 
Why not Wednesday? All right. Oh yeah, one more thing. Done with this bell ringer. You're not actually done with the bell ringer until you count all of the ladybugs on this log individually. On your mark, it set, go.